Hello and welcome to the second round of the DXM 2021, the official unofficial German Region National Championships here on Tabletop Simulator and live stream on X-Wing SHG. My name is Daniel aka Scumden and with me today also for round two is my very good friend Rashta. Hello. So we have uh, two very experienced players on stream. On the left side we have Niklas Gottnilsson from Sweden playing a list that he has also played in the latest uh, GSP Flight Club Championship. Uh, he's playing Torkel Mux with Zam Wessel, Thermal Detonators and Moldy Crow title, Captain Jostero, Tarani Kulda with Cluster Missiles, R5 TK and Munitions Failsafe and a generic Black Sun Enforcer. Very interesting list. Some synergies going on, we will refer to that uh, a little bit later. Uh, got us through Luke's list. He is from Germany. What is he flying? He is flying this Lone Swarm. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six Academy pilots, all at Initiative 1, uh, accompanied by an Omicron group pilot, also Initiative 1 with um, advanced sensors, jamming beam, Hull of Great, and of course, Admiral Sloan. So trying to... Uh, get stress on the opponent's ships and shoot them to pieces with all those academy pilots. Yeah, he has been successful with that list uh, in some of the early TTS uh, tournaments at the beginning of the Corona lockdown. He has, he was in the final. Did he win? I'm, I'm not sure. I, I think he won uh, one of the first uh, TTS tournaments that we streamed on this very channel here. Uh, so he is very familiar with that list as is Niklas God. So uh, we have R5TK. So that is the self-shooting bot. What is he for in that list? Uh, to shoot cluster missiles at um, Torquil to power up Sam. <laughs> so you can, you can shoot um, uh, Torquil with the cluster missiles and then uh, use the magician's fill safe to um, negate the attack to... Um, get some charges on them. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, by the way, uh, thank you so much, uh, Backfire, and thank you so much, Der Jockel, for your Prime subs. Much appreciated. All support is welcome. And also helps us reach our sub goals for some more nicer giveaways uh, after the rounds. So both so players are using gas clouds. Yeah, why well, wouldn't you when you play that many uh, TIE Fighters? Yeah. Um, second round, second use of the Ambassador, and the round has started. Did they start the time? Yeah. Okay, good. And I will start the, the uh, bets. Just give me a second, so you can bet for Wicked Points. Now, uh, if you think Niklas God is going to win, exclamation point, bet, space, one. If you think Luke is going to win, uh, exclamation point bet space two and after the number the amount of points you want to bet so the empire is setting up an honorable joust here and having listened to the fly better podcast where nicholas was uh, the guest this week i know that he likes to uh, joust also joust the enemy but do you like to joust the fully operational sloan swarm here i don't know oh, this could be uh we could get some action pretty soon. I I I actually don't know. I mean, it's a Sloan Swarm, right? Um, yeah. But having set up this way, I guess he will uh, joust because uh, what do you do? Uh, fly away? <laughs> no, he's he's jousting too. This will get very interesting very soon. Uh, second game, second usage of Sam here. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Another um, chance for us to get uh, those conditions right. <laughs> um, lots of interesting interactions in uh, Nicholas's um, squad here. We will get to those when they happen, especially with Torkil and um, Torani. Very scummy squadron. Lots of interesting stuff. So they um, lock into the gas cloud here by uh, Justero. Torkel, uh, uh, no, Tarani is um, locking onto Torkel. Yeah, Tarani's abilities 
not so great in this matchup because of the low initiative on the Empire ships. And here we see the usage of cluster missiles. Um, Torani shooting a Torkill using the munitions failsafe to cancel the attacks and Zem gets flipped. Uh, you should thank me, got flipped and um, recovers a charge. Interesting combination of cards, but uh, it works if it works. Yeah. So no shots so far this round. Uh... Wow. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this joust. Yeah, there are a lot of dice to be rolled next round. So what do you do here with the with the ties? Do you um how fast do you go? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And will you go maybe fast with only one to set up a block and uh um uh mess up uh the formation and deny the modifications for the scum list or do we just like go too straight with all of them to get as many shots as possible? I sincerely don't know, but the um, Black Sun and Forza Star Wiper has a shot here oh. and is attacking Already Academy shot. Pilot 3. Whoa, three hits right out of the gate. Uh, spends Ooh. the takes focus it. and takes one on green. But the Star Wiper will be shot back as well, but still has a focus. Only one and a half minutes left for bets. If you want to bet points, now is your time. So hit crit coming in. Evaded yep. easily. So next shot from the tie. Another hit crit. Hmm. Golden dice on fire. <laughs> Spends the focus to take nothing. Nearly 100 viewers. Welcome all. Nice to have you here. Yeah. Much appreciated. Thank you for tuning in. And that should be it. Yeah. Really quick game so far. Uh, next round will be... Wow. Will be brutal. Absolutely. I mean... Uh, the Star Viper is in a very good position. It is. Uh, but the others, not so much, question mark. What do you do here? Do you try to burn down the shuttle? Because when you kill those ties, uh, all your ships will get double stressed. Yeah. And that's not too good. But the shuttle's brick wall behind those ties as well. And... I'm really interested to see uh, how Luke's going to maneuver here. You go straight. You don't uh, turn into the Star Wiper. No, sure. why wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, uh, why would you? Um, I find it interesting that um, Torani's uh, set up at a very slight angle. It's not going uh, completely straight to the board edge here. Um, that might be to uh, position the bullseye for his ability uh, a bit better, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't think that Nicholas did it by mistake. No, no. It's, Is it this this ability. like like twenty two point five degree angle that assumably helps you to to align those the bullseye shots? I would guess so. Okay. Yep, yep. Oh, this is an interesting match. <laughs> yeah. I'm really looking High forward to the to, to next round here. Um, so, Jostero uh, is triggering when an enemy ship takes damage from... If it's not defending. Uh, so, in this case, when, when maybe a ship takes damage from thermal detonators... Or by Tarani's um, like cluster missiles Tarani's ability. Yeah. So
So he can get up to five shots with his list, with the Sam Wessel bonus shot. Um, is that enough to take seven shots in return? Yeah, you can try to uh, delete some green tokens with Tarani's ability. And um, reduce the um, Empire's offensive strength a bit. But yeah, we see uh, both players are taking some time to uh, ponder upon the moves here uh, because this following turn will be a very, very crucial turn in this game. Oh, and Empire goes fast. Oh, okay, interesting. Ah, maybe too fast. I guess the TIE Fighters will want to K-turn behind this uh, Scum Squadron next turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, look, so um, looking for one turn ahead, but which uh, makes sense. If the TIE Fighters turn behind the Scum Squadron and uh, Torkel survives, they will get um, thermal detonated. Sure. <laughs> thermal detonated. I like that word. <laughs> Almost as good as douching. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Empire set the shuttle trailing a bit behind. Yeah. Star Wiper setting up the attack run onto the shuttle. But the shuttle's reinforced to the front. Uh, if he boosts, can he surpass the reinforce? Probably not. Uh, also. You wouldn't get a mod. Oh, bandy barrel roll. Bandy barrel roll. So now maybe no reinforce. Uh, linked at the focus. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tarani goes slow. Oh, taking all shots. Taking all the shots. Uh, Torkel is the most expensive piece here in the list. And with and only two agility, she could die this round. Tarani is female? Uh, Tarani is female, I guess. Oh. Jotaro also going slow and uh, Tarani ah, bumps into bumps into Torquil. That's too bad. But I think we'll have both Academy Pilot, uh, the yellow and the blue ties in his or her uh, both eye. I will check the gender of Tarani. Female. Yeah, you're right. Okay. It's a female Rodian bounty hunter. Oh, yeah. I remember one of the alt arts, which was... Well... Oh, three ships in the bullseye. That's nice. Okay. That's very good. That's the power of your um, slightly tilted yeah. setup. Um, so we can't hear the players talking, so we have to assume much of the stuff uh, that's happening. So bear with us. Muxed. <laughs> I like the Max token on the yellow TIE fighter. So first shot from Tarani. Hit crit crit, not too bad. <laughs> Um, Reinforce is disabled here because of Tarani's ability, I guess. Uh, yes. Yeah, you can. Uh, the Dead to Rights ability of the um, Kimogilas. Yeah. Dice cannot be modified by green tokens, and the Reinforce is green and it modifies your uh, dice pool, so it is turned off. Yeah, so taking two shields. So, now we have a uh, Zam condition. So I'm going to take a look at Tarani's ability again. 
So after you perform an attack, each enemy ship in your bolts I suffers one damage unless it removes one green token. So um, yellow and blue can now decide whether to take that damage or... Or remove the focus. Okay, so blue just removed the focus and yellow as did as well. Yellow. Yeah, no damage taken so, here. So what about... Such a good ability. Yeah, it's awesome. So, and uh, the shuttle also took uh, one yep. more damage. Mm -hmm. so, so, only one shield remaining. Yeah. Yeah, probably better to keep the reinforce with more shots coming into the shuttle, probably. Doing. Ah, and now it's um, Turani um, Torkil's um, ability because. No, um, no, we have Justro. Justro, because. I, I, I mean, Justro. Yeah, Justro oh. took a damage. Um, not ju Justro, the shuttle took a damage, so bonus shot, but not. Uh, on on, on yellow. Okay, yellow. Yellow's dead. Nice. Oh, so much stuff happening here. Yeah, we try to keep up as best yeah. as possible. Yeah, I could, couldn't <laughs> so, do the bonus uh, shot on the shuttle because it was still defending. Just throws double stressed now. Ah, Star Viper being an ace here. Oh, three hits. Another two damage. Yeah. So six hole remaining on the shuttle. Nicholas list is so strong. So so so, so far, it seems like jousting the Sloan Swarm was the right decision. Yeah, Empire still to shoot, but yeah. Um the hawk does not have the um, title, no Moldy Crow here, so... Or does? Ah, it, it does, it does, it does. Yeah. yeah, it does, sorry. So... Only one hit so two far. Two focus results, a hit and a blank. Okay. Will Uses. spend one of the focus? No. Does, does not look like it. Okay. Maybe wants to keep it for uh, defense. Yeah, you want those thermal detonators to hit next turn. If possible. Yeah, being the Empire, who do you shoot now? Do you shoot a Torkil having two focus tokens or do you shoot a Jostero who you can modify against using Sloan and... Hmm. Also, did Jostro already do his own attack? He did his bonus attack, but... Uh, I don't think he did so far. So it's still the uh, scum turn. Yeah. Maybe... Um... No. Seems to already have attacked. Um... I didn't get the... the, the... Normal Jostro shot. Anyway, hit it crit. Good roll for the tie here. First two damage on... Torkel, yeah. Torkel. Mm -hmm. Shields are gone. Only three hole left. Pink shooting, also on Torkel. Oh, Torkel might get deleted here. So many ties still left to shoot. He has a focus left, so... Three hits coming in. Only one. Spending one of the focuses he has. Takes one damage, two hole remaining. Red on Torkoil. Hit crit. Let's see if Torkoil can evade that. Uh, yes, he could. By spending one. Spending the focus. Oh, and Torkel's dead. Having listened to the Fly Better Squad uh, podcast, uh, Torkel is the best ship to kill first in the game, uh, Nicholas said, I guess. Yeah, I guess. And um, Luke just that 
I guess uh, Sam condition might trigger here. Don't know. Players seem to be... Torkel has one left, right? Doesn't he only have three, though? There's three damage cards on him? Uh, you're right. So Torkel... But the Dolan. initiative step is not over yet, so he's still on the board. Yeah. Lots of pinging going on. Okay. So Jostro is a new target of choice. Being attacked by the TIE Fighter. Two hits. And Jostro takes one. So shield is gone. Another Reg, one attack by the TIE Fighter onto Justero. And in the hit and the crit coming in. Reroll for the stress uh, from Sloan. Yeah. But evades it. Ah, yeah, okay. He had to remove his focus because of Turan. Oh, nice roll. Hit a crit on Justero. Ooh, uh, taking, takes taking hit and crit. It's not looking so great so far for Nicholas. Lose stabilizer on um, Jostro. Turani deleted. Initiative step is over. Torkel was deleted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is also good because there will be no bomb next turn, which makes it easy for the ties to K turn behind Turani and Jostro. Yeah. So right. uh, first I thought, okay, jousting uh, the. Uh, Probably a best option. Was looking good for Nicholas God here. But now uh, Luke destroyed 82 points in the list. Half of Jostero uh, killing Torkel and only losing one tie. Yeah. But uh, Nicholas still in the game. Um, Tarani undamaged as well as the Black Sun Enforcer. They ca still can try to shoot down the Omicron. And then single out the ties, I guess. Yeah, but uh, with Torkel gone, it's a little bit more difficult now. So, um, the shuttle... Probably would is not going to stop because with the ties K turning, they um they might be out of range three for the Sloan ability. Yeah, right. Um, thing is, if you go, yeah, she um the Omicron group shuttle probably only doing something like a one straight because after that round you you want to turn your ship around i guess hmm. so i'm gonna take a look if i can pull up uh, all the lists for the chat Being double stressed doesn't play into Jostero's cards here. Um, might even get blocked by a, a TIE Fighter if they don't all uh, cater. And what do you do with Turani here? Do you try to burn down the shuttle as fast as possible? Yeah, I, I guess. So. Uh, Turani is your best weapon against the shuttle, uh, being able to uh, negate the uh, reinforce. But you need actions too, and the TIE Fighters are in a prime spot to block ships if they all don't K-turn. 
Um, Twitch it. Maybe you can check if that link works for you. So green K turning as does uh, pink. The red also K turns. Brown and blue might not have. Yeah. No space for K turns here. Blue turning in. Maybe trying to block a slow maneuver coming out of Jostro. And Brown might also try to block uh, Turani. Link works, goals and downloads a file. Yeah, you have to download it, the PDF. Okay, then I'm going to put that into a chat command. So, uh, give me just Blue. a second. Blue barrel rolling here. And I guess the shuttle um, used the um, advanced sensors to reinforce the back side and then turned to the right into the middle of the board. So three ties are ready to shoot and two ties are ready to block here. Star Wiper going slow, de-stressing. Uh, shuttle should be out of the firing arc. It's close. Pondering upon the action of the Star Wiper. Still thinking about the action. Yeah, Niklas has to get his foot back into the door here. Has to kill some ships or at least do as much damage as possible before yeah. his next ship is I dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's close to uh, getting half points on Sloan. Um, and like you said, yeah, probably uh, the best option is to, to melt down Sloan as fast as possible. Yeah, you have to. And after that, you can pick up the ties. The score is 22 to 82, but I think it's much closer than uh, than the score shows right now. Yeah, but uh, to run, uh, just throw only having three hull left could be burned down quite fast because mm -hmm. he's stressed and Sloan is active so all the TIE fighters will be able to modify against him uh, okay Black Sun taking the target lock onto the shuttle Jostero gets uh, the blue uh, tire get the bump against Jostero so brown pink green and red will all shoot onto Jostero and Turani also gets blocked yeah, you mean Jostro with three hull left, right? Yeah, so, Jostro. Jostro, Jostro Turani, Turani, yeah. Um, So Turani attacking the shuttle, range two. Will, after that, be able to use his ability against the um, brown TIE fighter. Yep, yep. Uh, only one hit. Yeah, and and evades that, evaded. yeah. That's too bad. Oh, did not use Turani's ability? Uh, yeah, yeah, he does use. They're just talking about it, I guess. And Brown has to get rid of the focus or take a damage here. Checking for the remaining hole on Jostero. Check ah, checking for the ability. You know, it takes the focus away. Yeah, of course. If you if he would have taken the damage, uh, Jostero would have had his uh, bonus attack. <sighs> Only one hit on the shuttle. Star wipers out. Still no half points. 
because of the hull no. upgrade. Okay, blue does not have a shot. And now brown with the shuttle could even attack Jostero here. It's clipped his base, but is attacking Turani for no hits. And now there are four TIE Fighters that could attack Jostero. Mm -hmm. Being able to mod the dice using Sloan. Yeah, yeah, hit oh. crit. That's hit so crit. taking hit crit on Jostero. Let's see what the crit is. Fuel leak, I guess. Yeah. So one hole remaining, and three shots remaining. I guess Jostero is a goner here. What is the and other then, crit? Um, fuel leak and blue stabilizer. stabilizer and fuel leak. Yeah. So green. Attacking Jostero. One hit. Rerolling with Sloan. Only one hit. Ooh. Yeah. Dodges that. Uh, every shot that Jostero can take here is one shot less yeah. to run. Yeah, yeah. So let's see if uh, Red can finish off uh, Jostero. Uh, nothing can reroll. Mm, I guess it's out of range of Sloan. Ah, uh, too bad. Uh, yeah, Trisha, I'm sorry. I just uh, rewrote, uh, reread the ability of Just Hero. A bonus wouldn't work, right? Uh... Start defending before losing. And said you have to attack that ship. Yeah. And not any ship. I'm sorry. So two hits. Yep, yep. On to Jostro. So that was quite a good round so far from Nicholas. Not losing any more ships so far. Did Brown already shoot? Um, I guess, yeah, the first shot was from Brown. Just Tarot surviving here is... Uh, yeah, it's huge. That surprising. is huge. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that as well. Still not in a great spot to de-stress. Okay, the shuttle can't stop here because it's stressed. But yeah, what do you do? Okay, uh, chat says two hits on Turani, not on just Tarot. Yeah, I already so fixed that on the overlay. Perfect. Uh, interesting now. So um, Sloan is stressed, if I see that correctly. Yeah. She did the two hard turn. Yeah, so can't stop here. Cannot stop. Might just go one straight, taking some more uh, shots in this round. Two straight, yeah. Okay, getting some distance, spreading spreading that that firing uh arc to the back reinforcing yeah, reinforce to the back aft. yeah oh making way for the blue tie fighter mm -hmm. k turning behind yeah brown k turning as well pink distressing taking a focus and i guess a green will do the same yeah and red bumps into tarani But still a nice field of fire by the TIE Fighters here. Star Viper moving in. No shots on the shuttle so far for Nicholas. Do 
what blue maneuvers do those um, Kyraxes have? Kyrax, Kyrax. Uh, let me pull up the dial. They have one banks, two banks, two straight, and three straight. So maybe doing a two bank. Oh no, he goes nope. straight. <laughs> Interesting. He's flying away. Taking a focus. Maybe trying to bait some of the TIE Fighter fire here. I guess um, Torani's bullseye is out here. Might ponder to uh barrel i guess do do they have a barrel roll? yeah they can they do yeah what do you do here uh take the focus or the target lock to better attack the shuttle or do you get your ability active by barrel rolling mm, i probably prefer the mods Ah, also, Sorani has a loose stabilizer. That's because he had to go straight. Yeah, thanks, Twitch chat. Oh, yeah. And Torani doing the barrel roll. Hmm, okay, interesting. Yeah, the, uh, the ability is now active, so uh, Omicron won't be able to use the reinforce. Yeah, which is good. And will uh, have to take another uh, shot at uh, damage or lose the reinforce. Or whatever it's worth. Three hits. And no evade. So shuttle's taking it all. So down to two hull now. So with a bit of luck, a bit of bit a lot of luck, the uh, Star Warper might be able to uh, burn down the shuttle here. Mm -hmm. Range one shot. Yeah, range and one with the, a focus. Um reinforce is is gone and gone. To yeah. its. So uh if he spends the focus, the shuttle cannot survive that. Ah, okay, that's the focus. It was him yeah. from my view. Okay. Yeah, okay, shuttle's gone. Perfect. So that's Sloan good. not active anymore, which is also good because of the shots that uh, might come in onto Tarani and uh, the Star Viper. First shot probably going into Jostro with one hull. Oh. One hull remaining. Also, Nicholas now in the lead, 90 to 82. Yeah. Oh, this is a really close game and very exciting game. And you have a pseudo ace in the Star Viper. Yes, absolutely. So, Nicholas is not does done not, and gone here. Yeah, does not have the best blue maneuvers, but still. Um, That's only one. On Tarani, yeah. And evades. Mm -hmm. Another shot on Turani. Um, Turani, yeah. Only one again. And evades <laughs> that as well. Kimogila. Most evasive ship in the game. <laughs> that should be two hits. Yeah. So we'll at least take one. And it's only one. Uh, he didn't draw a damage card, did he? Yeah, they seem to be talking. Because of range ah, two, uh, two, uh, two yeah. many green dice, yeah. He wrote one green die too many. Still an evade. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't he shoot on Jostro? I mean, Jostro is down to one. Yeah, but um, you, you have a lot of shots on Tarani now, and Jostro... You can kill yeah. him later. He's not doing anything for the next one, two, three rounds. Oh, that, so that was nothing. 
try to get the damage in on Turani uh, while you can, while you still have the ships. I guess it's a smart move. So Turani stressed, can't K turn. The Star Viper stressed, and Jostero isn't stressed, but on one hole. Niklas still eight points in the lead, and with uh, Sloan gone, this is still a game. Yeah, um, and it's looking so much better for Niklas now. Uh... Even though it's just an eight-point lead, uh, Jostro probably can just like get away. Uh, the Star Viper, the they and Tarani, um, maybe get a new approach. Uh, I mean, there are still five ties left on the board, um, but definitely it was was Nicholas' turn here. So yeah, we have more really against the shuttle here. Yeah, so we have more than half an hour left in the game, so uh still a lot of time for uh both players to 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 get the W here. Good thing is that uh brown and blue are a little bit out of the game for the next round. They cannot K turn, which gives yeah. uh, Tarani and the Star Viper time to get rid of the stress and get a new approach uh just to roll might just do something like a three bank or something like that or go fast get away what do you what do you do with Tor uh, with uh, torani here uh, do you go slow do you go fast um and what do you do with the enforcer do you turn it in try to attack uh, the tie fighters or do you with that much time remaining do you uh seek a new approach I Fly think away for a bit. Uh, I I think you could like uh let me take a look again at the dial of the Star Viper. I don't think it has that many blues. Um it has uh well wait, wait, it's okay. It has one bank, one straight, two bank, two straight and three straight. Uh could maybe just two bank boost or two bank bandy barrel roll. And then uh, approach the tie for for later. Yeah, you have to try to uh, draw the ties uh, away from each other to single them out. Oh, and the ties are on um, Justero's tail now. All yeah. oh, right, Justero has, has the loose uh, stabilizer, so yeah, we'll have to go straight. Yeah, and then he has to repair. Yeah, if he does not want to get off the board. Soon. Ah, Star Nish. Viper bumped. Oh. Star Viper bumped. Oh, and let me clear the dial here. Jostero for straight. Repair the um, stabilizer. And Rani gets free. De stresses. So, not too many shots for the Empire this turn. I guess maybe one from green not to the. Star Viper, but it might also be out. I guess Jostero is he out of range from Pink? It's close. Um, I think Pink still has range, but that's only one shot you get. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yes, thanks for the head ups. Busy seventy nine. Blue stabilizer is gone. Star Viper range one into Brown. Oh, two crits. Oh. Mm hmm Ooh, and takes one. Straight into hole. Uh damage engine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> it's it's in. It's in. Yeah. Red might even be in. Okay, that is one. He has a focus for two. It's two. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Jostero can survive that. Hanging by a thread. Needs two squiggles here. And no. it's dead. Does not get it. He tried. But he uh, drew the fire away from the rest of the squad. So that's okay. He took one for the team. But uh, 
That means Luke now taking the lead with 102 to 90 points. So Tarani will come back next round. Star Viper yeah. might. Uh, will you? You could. Uh, it's 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 difficult now. Something like one heart to the left, and then Bendy Barrel probably too obvious. Uh, could get blocked way too easily. Yeah, Tarani getting back in the game. Uh, you could 4K here, but um, then you're out for at least one or two rounds. Uh, turning in slow. I guess green, pink, and red might K turn here. I guess nearly mm -hmm. all the TIE fighters, but. Uh, well, they could just like. Blue. Why not do something like a one heart and take a focus? Was there enough space for it? Mm, I guess the Star Viper won't be there when you. Yeah, Try probably. To it. Uh, but oh, yeah, now, much wider field of fire. Star Viper turning in, but will be shot by three Tie Fighters. Four. No, three. Uh, right, blue is facing the other direction. Sorry. Yeah. Bandy barrel roll. Okay. Will not get a focus. It's not Guri. But takes one via the linked actions. Yeah. Rest now. Yeah, you have to try to take out green. Green already has a damage card, and a 4K by Turani. So we'll head back into the game next round, but far out. Yeah. So you can see the bolts are now. If Turani goes straight next turn, you will probably know where the bolts I might land up. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Star Viper shooting on green. Green has two, green. yeah, has two hull left. Has a range one shot. No mods for green. Hit crit. No. Uh, take takes a crit. Two. Let's see what the crit take is. One. Yeah, take one. Looks like blinded. Blinded as well. Okay. Yeah. So at least two, maybe three shots onto the Star Viper here. Green's first. Oh, hit it crit. No mods. That's harsh and only Ooh. one focus result by the Star Viper. So shield and takes the crit. You don't want to see that. Damage sensor ray. No, no more Benny Barrel Rolls. No, nope, just focus. Repaired. Another hit coming in. Oh, oh blanks out. The hit goes so through. Unlucky. Half points. And red is out. Oh, by a hair. That's a great Benny Barrel Roll to evade red's firing arc. But taking all those hits uh, yeah. for the Star Viper, that's... <laughs> Bad luck Not on the green dice easy. here for Nicholas in this case. And uh, now Tarani has to do some work next round to get the lead back to Nicholas. And the Vipers really, really ganked up in there. Can't easily um, de-stress. Can't easily turn around. Might get chewed up here by the ties. And I guess Turani is a bit too slow and ponderous to really, really fight five uh, TIE Fighters at once. Yeah, so pretty much looking a lot better for, for Luke now. But it's a nice game. It's swinging yes. from one player to the other. Nicholas can still uh, get the win here. Uh, I mean, the Green Academy is down to one hull. Uh, the brown one is down to two hull. And we all know how fast those ties can pop. So the good thing is the Star Viper is a little bit in the way here for the ties. 
Yeah. I could yes. imagine something like a blue doing a K turn, um, brown doing the K turn, green and red uh, and pink, maybe just like go fast, making some space for, for red and brown. Okay, self bump here, which is good, I guess. Interesting. Trying to keep shots on target like this. Okay, green bumps into the Star Viper, but these stresses. But no mods, so uh, Tarani oh. could easily kill him now. Brown's cater does not clear, bumps into pink Ooh. and should be stressed. Uh, brown should be should get a stress token here mm -hmm. yeah gets it awesome. star viper de-stresses takes a focus can't do anything else because of the um, damage sensor array yeah sensor array, yeah so the star viper will take two shots here oh do you barrel roll when... Yeah, Torani has to barrel roll, has to try to get the wolf's eye onto green. Ah, no. No, it did it, it, it... Well... Um, that would have been an instant kill on green. No, because it is... Wait, let, let me take a look at the card again. After your form, form attack, each enemy ship. Okay. Yeah, you're right. He would have automatically killed green, but maybe but now, he's trying to kill a uh, pink uh, for the uh, black yeah. force and not to take as much damage. He wants to have the mod modifier with the focus here. He wants to protect the star by power. No, <gasps> three Ooh. squiggles. That's so bad, but has to take a damage because of Tarani's ability. Uh. And yeah, pink takes one. Oh, Nicholas would have loved to pop that TIE Fighter here. Yeah. Using Turani. Now the Star Viper has to do it. Uh, uh, not a good roll you, here. Under average. Not, not spending the focus. Yeah. Yeah. Was the right choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now Tarani will tank some damage. Hitting a crit coming in. Taking at least the crit. Yep. Yeah. Direct taking two. So down to five. Still not down half four. points. No, down to four. Down to four? One, mm -hmm. two, three. Okay. Hit hit coming in. And ooh, he waits oh. both. Mm-hmm. Now, shots on the Star Viper. Range. Range two. Oh, nothing. Yeah. Lucky. And pink can be the hero for the Empire here. Might get promoted. <laughs> Might not. From Cadet to what is the next rank they have in the Empire? I don't know. Most of them don't survive the Cadet rank. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, shot at Tarani. Yeah, why would you shoot this Star Viper with the focus? And Tarani evades. Ooh. Okay, uh, so Luke has now a 52 point lead. Uh, 51. 51 point lead. That means um, if he kills green, that is only 11 points. He has to he has to kill a lot. So now this is getting really hard. With Tarani losing half points, we have 23 minutes left in the game. So it ain't over till it's over. 
I'm still wondering why it didn't barrel roll with Torani. You could have shot at pink and then get the bonus ability on green. So green would have been dead and you would have still had your shot on pink. Uh, Torani still has a target lock on. Maybe he was not sure about the range. <laughs> if he would have yeah. range, uh, if he would have had range on pink. Yeah, it's a tough decision for sure. And uh, with a bit of luck, uh, Turani could have popped the pink TIE Fighter here, um, making survival easier for the Star Viper. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, Star Viper's still alive. So, yeah. And uh, Lloyd, perfectly right in the chat, uh, saying he was trying to kill pink to limit damage into the Viper. Yeah. Yeah, Tarani is no endgame ship, so he has to protect that Star Viper if he wants to have a chance. Yeah, it's uh, like a mini ace here. Yeah. It's a fascinating game for sure. Uh, lots of uh, blocking, lots of um, maneuvering to get the best shots and uh, all those hard decisions. Yeah. Uh, so I guess maybe... For the next round, uh, get away with uh, the Viper getting rid of damage sensor array uh, because for dodging the shots from the ties, he, need, he needs that bandy barrel roll. Yeah, but Brown will be on the Star Viper's tail for sure. And all the other TIE Fighters are uh, lining up to pop to Rani. Yeah, she could die pretty quickly um, if... Luke manages to get something like three shots on Tarani. There's a good chance that Tarani will die. And then that that is game. Yeah, with that many ties remaining, it's a hard uh, game to catch up for the Star Viper. Star Viper against three ties, I'd give the game to the Star Viper with enough time left. But um, it's close. Okay, blue bumps into the Star Viper. Brown tries to set up a block. So if the Star Viper banks three to the left, might get blocked by Brown. Ooh, Ooh. snoops. Nice. That was a nice move. So coming. no shots uh, oh, coming into the Star Viper. Uh, Tarani getting blocked, but also only one shot. Uh, two shots, sorry. Yeah, by green and by blue. Yeah. Both being uh, unmodified. And blue gets it, uh, range one by Turani, and is in the uh, bullseye firing arc, so will take another damage. Two hits coming in. Uh, Bates them both. And takes one damage from Turani's ability. And now the Star Wiper. Kent, yeah, tries to kill Blue yeah. for one last shot at Turani. Oh, that was a good oh, roll. And Blue's dead. gone, yeah. So only one shot at Turani this turn. Some nice points for Nicholas. And one less uh, firing arc to uh, be afraid of. Yeah, also an unmodified shot by Green. And should be range... Wow, two? Yeah. yeah. So... Tarani might not even take a single damage this turn. Okay, one. one hit. Ah, takes, takes it. it. Okay. But still, uh, that's a good turnout after this round for Nicholas. Yeah. Yeah. Now needs 30 points to lead. So, uh, needs to kill one and a half ties. Uh, which is manageable in... A little bit more than 18 minutes. And Rani still has three health left. No crits. Still in peak operational order. Yeah. I mean, you can see how, how good of a player Nicholas is. Don't forget that Turani still has cluster missiles and the lock on pink. So if the time is right, if the positioning is right, um, Turani might still shoot those missiles. Attacking two um, ships, possibly. 
If Brown and thus triggering his ability yeah. twice. If Brown does a hard one to the left, will there be space for a barrel roll and possibly blocking a potential 4K from Tarani? I guess that does not uh, to the back, perhaps. Because that would be huge for Luke if he could manage to stop Tarani from K turning. So next round is going to be very interesting. This whole game is very interesting. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's just a marvel of flying. And there I was thinking only Guri was a good Star Viper, but this... Uh, Miki, Black Sun Enforcer is really doing work here. Yeah, I mean, in a in a build like like four Star Vipers, we have seen how good the generics are. Uh, but as a single piece in a four ship mixed scum list, uh, we have not seen uh, the generic Star Viper too often before. But uh, Nicholas is making absolutely uh, clear to everybody that uh, the generic Black Sun Enforcer is absolutely worth its points. Okay, Ty's mostly K-turning, only green taking a focus. And it's now Nicholas' turn to move. Tarani, nope, Star first, of course, banking in. Okay, what is Tarani going to do? Okay, Star Wipper still has the, um, the crit, can't do anything else but focus actions. Mm -hmm. Does so. Yeah, what do you do with... Ah, oh, Katon's perfect. Yeah. Um, has no targets in his bullseye, but will be able to attack green at range three, but is unmodified. So we'll have to depend on the luck yeah. of the dice here. Relies on luck here. Average roll. Very average and evades. Also, yeah. So maybe the Star Viper can finish green here. And will be shot by two TIE Fighters after that, quite possibly. By three, okay, even yeah. four, my even. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I totally blocked out Brown. So by yeah, three, takes the three, focus. three at least. Uh, swings for the fences and kills green. Okay, no kills green. Run. No, S kills not. You had the focus. I just missed it. But green's without tokens now. Oh, <laughs> but so is the Star Wiper and so is Tarani. Okay. Brown on... I don't know. Tarani? Yeah, takes it. Yeah, one more damage. Down to two. Looks like an attack on Tarani, yeah. A single crit. That might hurt. No, it no, does this not. This time okay. does not do any damage. Okay, so Star Viper gets nothing, and Red is out of range. Whew, with Nicholas still hanging by a threat. Yeah. Claws his way back up, 132 to 152. Whoa. So still needs uh, one and a half ties now. I wonder if Nicholas tries to get the uh, cluster missiles off this turn. Going too straight, quite possibly with Tarani, getting into range two of pink, getting two shots, two uh, triggers of his ability. Yes. Such an interesting game. <laughs> Twitch says, right, uh, Pink is sweating. What yeah. do you do? Do you, do you flee with Pink, uh, uh, taking one uh, last shot at uh, the scum squad? Or do you try to get in, try to kill something, but then in uh, 
taking the clusters before you were able to shoot? I'm, I mean, green is the one who is left with one hull. Pink does have two left. Um, so you might want to set up some sort of block with green. Yeah, but and... uh, pink's already target locked by Turani, so if ah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. The, yeah. um, uh, the shots off. Uh... I didn't see the target lock at first. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. It was put there at turn two, I guess. So it's sitting there for a long, long time. Super interesting movement decisions here. Who do you block? Who do you kill? Luke's still in the lead and two TIE fighters have to die. But they are all hurt. Oh, this is very tough now. I don't know what the best decision is, what the best move here is for uh, yeah. either Nicholas or Luke. Uh, Lloyd186 uh, in the chat. Yeah, uh, Luke has played great this game, of yeah. course. So we're not cheering Nicholas to win this. We are cheering for both players because it's a really fun game to watch yeah. and comment on. Okay, pink is not getting out. So a two straight by Turani would uh, green light the cluster missiles. And I guess pink would also be in the bulls. Oh, no, it's barrel rolling away. So. Yeah, maybe trying to force Turani to, to barrel roll mm -hmm. for not <laughs> having double modifications. Thinking about which way to barrel roll. Okay. Red de stressing, taking a focus. So now I'm very interested in how the Star Wapper. Yep, Star Wapper getting close in. Taking a focus. I would love to be able to do the Bendy barrel roll to the right here, but can't. Oh, okay. I did not see that coming. Target lock into red. Oh, yes. Barrel. Oh, tries to take out red or a... that's interesting. Uh, it's out. Well, is it in? I can't say if red's in or out of the bullseye. The chat tool says likely unobstructed at range on in bullseye. Okay. Okay, red taking two here, three, and red's done. That was wow. a little bit unexpected. Deleted red in one go. Uh, but now the Star Wiper has no shots. Okay, both Turani and the Star Wiper at range 2 for this TIE Fighter here. Taking another crit. Target is Turani and takes a crit. Well, oh, direct. direct. So down, to, down to one hole. Right? No, she's dead. One, two, three, seven. four, five, six, seven. Yeah, she's dead. Dead and gone. So, with only eight and a half minutes left. Yeah, uh, again, one tie is not enough. He needs two. Even, even, even one and a half. One and a half would be 33 points. And uh, Nicholas needs 34 points to lead. Wow. <laughs> so I don't think there is 
any chance he has to yeah luke could go he has for to time kill here. brown uh, and pink and the ties are all looking into uh, different directions with only so one ship all go into different directions uh, so uh, the, making very hard to catch up on them uh, so uh, no chance for nicholas here he only has one shot Per turn, we will have at least two turns, I guess. And he needs to kill a single ship, a full healthy, or not healthy, but a, a two damage, a two hull tie uh, each turn. Yeah, Lloyd in the chat's right. 33 points for final salvo. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so one and a half would be enough for final salvo. Okay. Okay, green not turning out, still in the fight. So uh, Luke's trying to delete uh, the Star Viper here. Not choosing to take the focus, might. Oh, evading. But Brown takes the focus and pink K turns. So no flying away. All shooty shooty action for the Empire here. And Pink gets it first at range 2. Star Viper has a focus. And again, average roll. I guess you, you have to do the damage, but you don't want to spend the focus because you will still be shot. Yeah, but he takes it. Two, two hits on Pink. Pink takes one, but isn't dead. So pink down to one, green down to one, and brown still has two hull remaining. Pink shooting at the Star Viper, two hits. Star Viper needs squiggles here, and I see one. So taking one hit. So one hull remaining on the Star Viper. Hit coming in. Needs to squiggle or is dead and has a squiggle, so Star Viper survives. And we're off to the next round. Star Viper really feeling the heat of the TIE Fighters. It's down to one hull. Only four hull remaining on the Empire side. This is down to the wire. But with only five minutes remaining, uh, Nicholas has to do the damage now. Has not to lose the last hull on the Star Viper. And the Star Viper still has the um, damage sensor ray, so won't be able to do the bandy barrel rolls to get out of the firing arcs mm -hmm. and still be able to get the focus. That's a crit that really um, hinders the movement of the Star Viper here. And also he needs to, to do damage. Yeah, of course. Okay, chat says if uh, Brown gets killed, we might be into final salvo. Yeah, Brown gets to get halved here. Oh, it's so close. Pink evading. It's not taking any chances here. Green turning in. Pondering to attack or to defend. Yes, yeah. Empire's on the defensive now. Does not want to take any unnecessary damage. Yeah, here. why would you? And Star Viper sloops around, taking the stress. I guess does not even have a shot. No, nope, pinks out. So three tie fi uh, two tie fighters will try to take out the Star Viper here. 
Range two shot coming in. Two hits. Needs the squiggles. Needs them all. Ooh, gets them. And no damage on yeah. Starviper this turn. Okay. That was lucky. Or was it? I mean, they had no offensive mods. They all took an evade. Yeah. But being able in the lead, uh, Luke was, um, yeah, was okay for him doing that. Yeah. Why give the game away now? Um, I'm did it for a second. So, so I'm back. This game is still going on. Okay, he so he needs to kill Brown. Bumps. So, will not have a shot on brown. Ooh, three hits. But three hits pink. on pink. Nope. Nope. Has the evade. So, we will have one more game after that one, right? Uh, before the lunch break yeah, uh, or breakfast break, yes. Yeah. Correct. Also, we will have another go giveaway after this round. So with only one minute left, um, I guess this is an unwinnable situation for Nicholas here. Um, again, he needs to kill Brown. But is stressed, won't be able to turn around and Brown can just go five straight and uh, say bye bye. Pink's flying away. Taking the evade, brown, okay, turn. Time and round has been called. Yeah. Uh, green also okay turning and the viper yep, yep. trying to get out of brown's firing arc, but still might be in, in the edge of range three. Adam F352, thank you for the prime sub. Thanks for the support. Viper's in, taking crit crit. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Yes. Four weight dice has a focus. Yes, not taking the damage. Mm -hmm. But Brown still be able to shoot. No, oh, uh, it's uh, the other TIE fighter. Another hit, crit coming in and evades it. And that's game. So congratulations to Luke7322 winning against Nicholas Gott. Nilsson in this round two match of the DXM. Yeah, GG. That GG. Was a great game.